Today, Kevin and I are gonna be trying some lesser evil. These are called sun poppers. I have the Himalayan pink salt. Um, nacho cheese and sour cream and onion. These were $3.49 each at Home Goods, and I think we did pretty good because we got three different flavors. Uh, Home Goods, sometimes you have, to, you have to dig through the bags of stuff to, to find them all, so uh, we did pretty good getting three. I don't know how many they, how many flavors are out there, so, but these say, uh, they are grain free, fueled by the sun, which I I don't know what that means. Maybe because it's, it's just they don't use a lot of uh, growth hormones or something. Uh, like that. Certified paleo, uh, non GMO, grain free, gluten free, vegan, four ounces, 113 grams. Um, the Himalayan pink salt. Okay, it says. Uh, making healthier, less processed, earth-friendly, snackable, accessible to everyone. Um, yeah, read what they did. All right. You don't have to read the whole thing. I, I was going to read it, and then I thought, Kevin's not going to want me to read it. No, that. I want you to read it because it's weird what these are made from. We salute you. Oh, it's, sorry. It says, son, son, we salute you. Watermelon and pumpkin seeds provide three grams of sun-powered plant-based protein per serving of these poppable bites. Puffed to crispy perfection and tumbled in organic avocado oil, you'll be basking in the taste of this savory, sunny, sustainable snack. We That's live, what I thought was funny. Pumpkin uh, seed and watermelon seed. It's talking about how uh, what they believe. Yeah. Sustainability no, I just wanted you to read like about that. the seeds. Uh, they are in Connecticut, and it says, okay, so the first ingredient, everything is organic, so I'm not going to repeat all that again and again. Uh, it, they have uh, cassava flour, avocado oil, protein blend. The protein blend has watermelon protein, pumpkin uh, protein. Okay. Uh, it has tapioca starch and Himalayan salt. So the, so the watermelon it's, and the pumpkin are just for the protein part. It's protein uh, part. Gotcha. Yeah, okay. okay. <clears throat> These look like cereal. Ooh. They do come with poor um, uh, bugles. They, kind of. Kind they of partial look like bugles. A, or a grub worm. You know, <laughs> it just depends on. Um, They're actually good. This is just salty. Actually, like Himalayan pink salt. Yeah, the, 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 the little shape is kind of weird. Not bad. No. They actually have a nice. Um, a nice crunchy texture. They get kind of pasty. They do, but you know what? Bugles and stuff get a little pasty. They too. do, yeah. I like them. Yeah, those aren't bad at all. They do have a good amount of salt. They look like they'd be really hollow because mm. they do have a hole in them, but when you bite into them, they don't feel hollow. No, it's just a nice little crunchy uh, snack. Um, mm. It. It's not as puffy as like a cheese curl, though. Yeah. Like a cheese puff. It's not that crunchy. It's more. More dense than that. Four servings in the container, 28 grams, about 45. You can eat 45 of those for 130 calories. Not bad. You know, they have I, a little bit of an earthy aftertaste, but I'm not getting it. I, I like it. I don't mind them at all. I really do like it. it when is, I say earthy, I don't mean like really strong, like dark. I'm trying I'm not, to figure I'm out what I would compare that flavor to. Yeah. Uh, something, another snack. That would be like okay, and um, well, it's not a corn snack, so it's it's a non-corn snack, right? Um, it kind of reminds me of their other little puffed things, like the little puff corn. Yeah, things, but, but I those like are this, corn. I like this. I like this more. Yeah, these more have more of a, a weedy kind of flavor. Than yeah, I actually flavor. like these and could yeah. absolutely eat these. And I do like the level of salt they use. They do kind of look like little worms, though. Little grub worms. <laughs> It's just uh, the ends though, not the middles. They cut the ends off. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. The heads um, and tails. <laughs> this is the vegan nacho cheese flavor. Yeah. Uh, same calories. The bags are nice to open. They kind of look the same. They're a little, they look a little lighter. Yeah, they're a little bit lighter, yeah. They do kind of remind you of cereal too though. Mm-hmm. Immediately yeah. get the cheese flavor. Yeah. Taste those are a slight onion flavor there too. I know. There's some seasoning. 
I, or garlic or garlic something. or onion, something. There's something else. Oh in gosh, there. there's all kinds of stuff. All kinds of stuff in this one. And I'd say there's a lot of things that go into making vegan cheese. Onion powder, garlic powder. Yeah. Um, you can taste the onion and garlic. Paprika, green bell pepper, spices, uh, jalapeno. Well, oh. uh, what, what's funny, um, what's this jalapeno pepper uh, powder? Oh. Yep. So, what's funny is if this is vegan nacho cheese, does that mean all vegan nacho cheese has that much seasoning oh. in it? Because that doesn't taste like cheese. No. It, it tastes like all the spices that they yeah. put in it. Uh, but I really do like that flavor. So I'm wondering, I, like, if, if I, I would eat that. I right. would eat that. So like, if, if vegan, if it all tastes like that, I would. Because you're really not tasting cheese. You're no, tasting garlic, garlic and, and onion. onion. That's yeah, that's 90 what it, of that flavor that's what it is, but it's really good. I like them. I like the salt better, but I do like them. Um, I think I like those better. Do you? Yeah, you like, I really, like a garlic, garlic. I like onion, garlic yeah. and onion and all that. Yeah. So that makes me wonder what these are going to taste like. These are sour cream and onion. Yeah. Same calories. I have to say the bags open really nicely. They haven't torn on oh, me or Lord. anything like that. Okay. So this one looks like it has a lot of the same things. Yeah. Which, Different flavor though. Okay. Tell you what, after eating the nacho cheese one, these um, don't have as much flavor. I would have never known. I know. I would, we try to put them in order of strength, and I thought the sour cream and onion, who would have known the nacho cheese would have had that much who flavor? Would, yeah, who would have known? Actually, I think the salt ones have more flavor than those. The, yeah, these are not what I was hoping for. Mm -hmm. These do not taste like sour cream and onion to me at all. Um, they're like <laughs> now the salt ones are really plain compared to the nacho ones. Too. Oh, I, I'm you go back to them, you. they're like Bleh. I'm telling you, those nacho ones yeah, are really good. Strong. But don't expect nacho. Yeah, garlic and onion is what that is. So, and that's gonna fool that bag is gonna fool a lot of people. Um, see, this has sour cream and onion seasoning. Mm -hmm. Oh, you get a little bit. It's just not very strong. Onion powder. I'm not seeing the garlic, but I, oh yeah, garlic. I just this one just doesn't have the flavor. No, that I got I a couple it. more, and you, you you can taste it a little bit, but it's just not really strong. No, this isn't something that I want. The nacho cheese. Yeah, you could really. It's my favorite. Those. The, I honestly, I would go for nacho cheese and then the Himalayan salt. I would too. And then these, I just would skip on. Yeah, I agree. But these are good. If you see them in your area, I think. And, and you, this, I love the calories. And if these kind of things interest you. You're looking for paleo or vegan or any of that yeah. stuff. Then go for it. I mean, if you're going to eat regular potato chips, you know, eat those. But yeah. if you're looking for these kind of things, then, then or gluten free. Can you imagine if you had to eat gluten free? These would be really good gluten free. Uh, yes, they would. Snacks. They would. Now, I noticed it first with just the, the first few when we had the Himalayan salt. I, I noticed, like I said, the pastiness. But then once you start eating more and more, you don't even notice. No, anymore. but that's a lot of um, things turn into that kind. Yeah, of you pasty. just you just don't notice it. Yeah, a cheese um, puff turns into like a cheesy paste. Yeah, too, but this so. one was uh, more to so. me it more was. so. But then I guess I just got used to it yeah, because it didn't it. bother me at well, all. Plus, you're eating them consistently, right. so they can, they don't have a time to just build up this pasty texture. Exactly. Yeah. But I'm impressed more than anything uh, with just that flavor, but then the calories, because mm. you get 45 of them. Um, so I, I think that's a good snack yeah, for sure. Good. So you'll have to let us know if you've tried these or if they have any more flavors, uh, but I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.